Hey guys, my name is Balaj and today we are going to show you how to take apart the Asus ZenBook UX302 LA. Now the LA version has a standard 500GB uh, hard drive inside an Intel Core i5 processor and 8GB of RAM. Now the 8GB we don't want to upgrade but we will take a look inside how to upgrade the uh, hard drive to an SSD for example by Samsung or any other company that has one, how big does it have to be and is it actually even possible to upgrade or did they use some kind of special hard drive that's really really small. So. We'll check that all out and as you can see I have my um, setup uh, right here with the notebook, um, some screwdrivers, actually 99 different ones and they weren't enough since I had to take a really uh, small uh, flat band screwdriver, actually flat head uh, screwdriver. It's so small that it's really hard to see here on camera. It's about one millimeter wide and it's, that, uh, it's a flat head um, even though there is a, a star um, screw here right on the bottom since I don't have a this small star screwdriver um, size 0 wasn't uh, small enough or uh, actually not 0 the T8 I have here is not small enough you need one with a really tiny head that's why I just used um, something that watchmakers use and let me just close in uh, close up here to the notebook so we can uh, see everything up uh, close and we'll do here the whole procedure um, and I will of course um, once you can see the uh, main board uh, show you everything quite closely. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine screws. I just left the ninth one inside so you guys can see that it's really not that hard to um, unscrew this here with just also a flat head screwdriver. Uh, I will also try not to scratch the screws so the service um, does not see that I've opened up the notebook. So once I have done that, it should be quite easy to take off the bottom. On the front it seems also really quite bottom, you can lift it up right away, you can feel it here but usually on the back uh, at the hinge it's not that easy so I like to just usually take a plastic card, I'll just try it with a slim one and just go here around the corners to see if anything is blocking here, no it's not on this side. Let's check the other side. I have no clue how long this will take. I've seen the UX32VD and I've not done it myself, but I had help um, really um, upgrade it. And it's really not that, it wasn't that easy because there was so many screws, but I got a lot of use for it. So I guess a lot of people will want to do this, I think, for this one also. Well, it's not that easy to um, really take off the bottom here right now, as you can see, since um, there is. Um, something holding it back here on the back. I don't know what, but probably because um, of the um, real little space where it goes a little bit down. And the hinges are on here quite strongly, but let me just really try to lift this up slowly and steadily. Don't want to break anything on the corners or anything like that. Screws are not inside anymore, so and this is actually a brand new device. Let me just maybe try to pull it to the front. No, that's not it. Push it to the back. That's not it also. Let me just look inside maybe. There doesn't seem to be glue or anything like that, or at least not that much. We look like this. Okay, so let's just continue trying it here with the card. Let me zoom out a little bit so you guys can see something. So what I'm trying to do now is really take a little bit thicker plastic card and just go here all the way back and try to lift this up. It seems like there's two more screws just below the um, rubber feet. I didn't know that, so let's just see if I can take these off somehow. My fingers not right now. Let me just try it here with a little pin set going under the rubber on the back, trying to lift it up. Exactly, one Phillips screw here. Now 
not that easy on this side. I'm not a professional as you can see. Try my best though. Also not to damage it from the outside. Try something different. Rubber seems to be quite soft. To be exact, it's too soft to lift up. Kind of strange. Because on the other side it was really not that hard. Here we go. Okay. So we just need a Phillips screwdriver like this one. And we can continue. Zoom in again. Taking out the screws. Quite a long screw also, other one also right here, let's put these rubber feet also to the side and now it should be really quite easy to lift up here the back. It really should be but there is still the hinge going here to the screen which is not good so my problem right now is, I don't know if it's visible um, I can lift this up but also this part belongs to the bottom part I've, I didn't know that so let's see if something back there is still holding it back. No, I just have to really smartly somehow lift it out there. Which will not be easy, but hopefully doable. If doable, somehow I have to put it also back. Because opening up it up this far is not enough because in the complete front there's only the battery and I can already see the hard drive and the RAM. So we are not far away guys. Hold on. Don't worry me being so quiet, I'm just looking at the back panel how I can take it off or anything like that, but it's really not that easy. Warranty void if seal is broken or removed. So there's inside there's some um, stickers that are telling me that it's void when I'm opening that up, but this till now is completely legal. At least I think in most countries there's countries where you can't even go this far, uh, but usually you are allowed to uh, um, upgrade your hard drive or anything like that, so that shouldn't be a problem. So I'm quite annoyed that I can't take off here this back panel. Now my problem here is when I would open up the screen, so if I would open up the screen right now to just get a little bit more, spa more space, it's actually 
pushing down the hinge and I can't take it out at all so my guess is I would have to take off the screen but it's completely impossible to take off the screen and to take out here this back panel and the back panel goes all the way to the front because there's the speakers and the fan and everything coming out right here so I have right now no clue how to just lift it out here in the back but I can give you right now a little glimpse inside don't know how much is visible but you can see here the hard drive in the middle the RAM there is an SSD by SanDisk right here for the 16 gigs um, of a fast um, a boot memory and also a huge battery here which we could also upgrade um, and I think I will do just a part 2 where I try a little bit more to take this off and then you can tune in there also to see how to um, do the SSD upgrade if I take off the cover and I will tell you guys how I did it because right now I have really absolutely no clue how to do it this seems really hard and yeah so see you guys later I hope I will be able to take off this cover um, and see you guys in part 2